My next guest is an Academy Award winning songwriter. He's the subject of a documentary film, Still Alive, which is available on DVD. Take a look at this. Paul Williams, everybody! Oh, the the price of eggs in Tokyo is 250 yen. Have you been to Tokyo? No, I just looked it up online. Did you really? I, well, I was watching you, and you were talking about the price of you. Know, I wasn't talking I about the price. I've been to Tokyo. I buy my clothes in Tokyo, and in in Japan, I'm a medium. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, have nothing to say about that. This now, that would be a first. Wait a minute. This is where's a... the bone patrol? Bone patrol are not here. We can't afford them all the time. Oh, this is sad because Jeff and I used to write songs. We wrote a yeah. song. We wrote a song called "Out of the Closet," which was about his, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. his skeletons in your closet, and some are out of them these days. Right? So, yeah, yeah. Jeff, nothing closeted about Jeff. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey. Hey. I see. You were asking. Why is it called Still Alive? Well, it was not my idea, you know, because Still Alive was, you know, was, I thought, my ego was like, oh, my God, I, you know, I mean, some people still know who I am. I, everybody like... knows you. You got standing ovation when you walked out there, and these people are not... Yeah. Uh, I have to tell you, well, I, I, was, I was all over the place in the 70s. I was there in the 80s. I stayed home, and I alphabetized my canned goods, and, and this guy disappeared. And all. But I have to tell you that when he said, I want to call it Still Alive, you know, first of all, Sobriety changed my life, and I'll, I, this March 15th, I'll celebrate 23 years of continuous that is sobriety. That's sensational. Uh, sensational. Yeah, I do. So, so I kind of disappeared, and, and there's nothing to be more pathetic than some little old man going, Please, sir, may I have another cup of fame? It's just disgusting. So, when this guy, when Steve Kessler said, I want to do a movie about it, I went, e, I'm not sure. But then I thought I could write a song at the end called Still Alive that would tell, you know, and, and there's a bridge in the song that goes, and someone asked me once, where do we go when we arrive? If you're lucky, when it's over, the dreamer's still alive. A blessed mystery for sweeter souls did not survive. It's about the fact that, that you know, we're very, very, very lucky, those of us who have survived our addiction and all. There was a lot of people that yeah, did not. Yeah, I know. You know yeah. Yeah. So... So you you went away from fame when you get sober. That's well, kinda... you know, you know, I, I mean, I did forty, I did forty-eight Tonight shows. I remember six, and and you know, the thing because I was a little media whore. I loved that camera on me. When you put down a couch and a camera, Paulie was there like, "Hello, America!" And it was just, you know, it was I was as out, as outrageous as Jeff. I just loved the camera, <laughs> and I, you know, incidentally, mm -hmm. you seem to love the camera. You have a tendency to want to get really close to the camera. It's only because I can hit it. When I I'm am close to it. That maybe you had abandonment issues or something. You want to get close to the people and you want them to feel you and sense you so you get as close to the camera. You make me sound like a needy chair. No, no. Yeah. Well, you are. <laughs> maybe I am. Yeah, exactly. Are you in therapy? Let's do some therapy right okay. now. Okay, wait a minute. What? If we're going to talk about you. No, we're not. We're going to talk about you. No, I'm a therapist. No, but I know. But here's, here's what I'd like to say about you. Uh oh. Uh, one of the m most impressive things I ever saw on television was there was a, this, there was a, a young singer who had a lot of. Uh, girl who had a lot of problems with drugs and alcohol and was crazy and you kind of made fun of her one night on television and then the next night you came out and you did one of the most classy spectacular things I've ever seen you kind of you made a living amends about that you talked about the fact that what you had done you wished you hadn't done it was one of the more elegant things I've ever seen and it's been, it is probably more important to tell you that than to promote this thinking picture which I'm really proud of but it was a really classy thank you very much very 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 classy thing to do. Thank you. You have a really tough time with a compliment, don't you? Yes, I, it's making me very uncomfortable, <laughs> I have to tell you. Do you take compliments because you well? Because you were flirting do, with do, Amanda, do, but with me, you just keep getting further. Well, you, you, I, when you say all these nice things to me, I think, well, because I've been in Hollywood for a long time, I think his hand is in my trouser pocket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But of course it's not. It's just no, it's that not. I've become yeah. jaded, of well, course, because I've been that. here it's, for... It's, it's, you, and, haven't you ever become jaded by no, Hollywood? No, you know, what I have, uh, I, I have, you know, I operate, I'm writing a book called Gratitude and Trust. I mean, I, my, my choo-choo runs on, I'm, I'm co-writing a book with a lady named Tra Tracy Jackson about gratitude and trust 
because that's what my my choo choo runs on. Your choo choo? My choo choo runs on the rails of gratitude and trust. I am a different man today than I was 23 years ago. Yeah, I, I believe you, but you still have a choo choo. <laughs> Don't you have a choo choo? You have a horsey. You don't. Have I got a, a horsey. Choo -choo. Yeah, I do have a horsey. That's true. I got yeah, a horsey yeah, and a robot. Yeah, 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 That's exactly. true, actually. But it's, yeah. But there's, I mean, there's footage in this I mean, that is really hard for me to watch. There's footage of me hosting Merv Griffin when I am just, you know, somebody is using my body on television. It's just I'm not in there. It's see, I'm very glad I I wasn't really filmed when I was drinking. It, it would have been. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I, I read I, I read your book. I bought your book and I read your book. You bought it. I, I bought okay, your thanks book. Thanks very much indeed. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly, I did, I did. And I bought it long before I was booked on the show. Oh, yeah, I, I did. I bought it when it came out. Really? I did. The hell, man. Yeah, I could have got you a free you know, one. Yeah, I know. No, no, that's all right. You know. Well, I'm very excited to see this, actually, Paul. Is it, uh, you find it, I mean, is the Rainbow Connection in this? There's, uh, you know what, there's little bits and clips of, of uh, a lot of shows. There's bits and pieces of a lot of songs and all. And my, my history with, with the Muppets was, I mean, Jim Henson was the greatest guy I ever worked with in my yeah, life. Yeah, he was a just, genius, genuine genius. Yeah, uh, uh, brilliant, brilliant guy. And, and uh, Is that a true story about Jim Henson? Somebody told me this, that... When he was ten years old, he made his first frog puppet out of his, mo his mother's old green coat. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about that. You know, and when I was drinking, I would have said yes, and it, you know, because you know, when I was drinking, I would have lied to you. But the fact of the matter is, I don't. You don't know. know. Yeah, it's okay know. to say you don't know. I but it's not. I'm not comfortable with it, though. Really? <laughs> it's amazing because you're such a lovely, lovely, friendly man, Thank and you. with lots of nice qualities. I'm trying to compliment wow, thing on you. Really see nice. how you're. Are you, you actually okay with this? I'm yeah, right you're, with it, yeah, I can see you beginning to be okay. With... No. <laughs> Ah, see? <laughs> you know, I've always, whenever I used to do the puppet things yeah. here, uh, I always wanted to do Rainbow Connection, and we could never afford it. Well, you know what, I, uh, you, you know... So I, can I, I have it now? If you want to do it, if you want to sing it tonight, I would actually pay for you singing it. And the fact is, I, I could probably make some sort of an arrangement. I have this day gig, you know, I am president and chairman of the board of ASCAP, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and ah. Publishers. Thank you. And as... Passionate as I am about recovery, I am equally as passionate about music creators' rights, film creators' rights, you know, people like yourself who give yourself, give your lives from the very center of your being to providing entertainment for people deserve to be able to make a viable living with your work. And that's what I'm fighting for for young songwriters, even as we speak. God bless you. Paul Williams, everybody. Be right back. What's that, Secretariat? Jeff's trapped down a well? You want me to go with you? But Jeff's right there! That's not Jeff! Who's that? Someone... I don't know! We don't know who that is! So I'll come with you and we'll rescue the real Jeff? Show me the way!